Hey folks, Matt from IrelyImage.com. I was just going through comments on the videos, and we have a question here from Avinash. Uh, SL2 versus M50, please. So basically, he's asking, what uh, should I buy between a Canon SL2 and a Canon M50? Interesting question, because um, the SL2 is small and light. Perhaps the smallest and lightest DSLR from Canon. And I'm actually a big fan of the SL2. As you know, I've reviewed it. And actually, I can't remember if I had the final review up yet. I have to double check that. Uh, but love the camera. Small, light, basically everything the ADD has to offer in a much smaller, lighter package at a much better price. Um, ADD probably has a more advanced autofocus system, but if you tend to be more of a center uh, focus, recompose guy, which is what a lot of us do, tend to be mostly the way I shoot, um, not a big deal. And it has dual pixel layout, so it's a great vlogging camera and uh, has that wonderful dual pixel autofocus system from Canon. Um, so against the 80D, I would probably most times nowadays rather people buy the SL2 and buy a bit more, put, put, put a bit more money into lenses, I think is a good way to go. But the M50, against the M50, what do we get? We get 4K. Uh, yeah, it's got a heavy crop factor, 2.56 times. Um, but, you know, as I've said before, the Micro Four Thirds has it two times anyway, so it's not unusable. We do lose dual pixel autofocus in 4K, but at least we have 4K. And then you can still use the dual autofocus in 1080. And some people are arguing that the M50 has some of the best 1080 out there in the APS-C bodies from Canon. I'm still doing my tests and my reviews, but it's it's looking good. Um, 10 frames per second, we're shooting faster than the SL2. And that's a, a benefit we get from being mirrorless, right? So the M M50, you know, it's a faster shooting camera. And actually, look-wise, much as I like the SL2, and I do, I'm, I really do like the little SL2, the M50 is a little sexier. It's a pretty cool-looking camera. And, you know, it sometimes looks or, you know, I like to have a camera that looks cool. Um, so cost versus the two, I mean, for video, there is a big advantage to having the 4K. So to me, that kind of tilts it in the M50's favor. Prior to the M50, I would have said, hey, go SL2. But now that we do have the M50, if you can afford it, I'd look at the M50 if you're at all interested in shooting video or even just to have the ability to extract stills from video. Um, the size and weight, probably similar, although the M50 looks a lot cooler to me. And the shooting speed, maybe that's a big thing for you, 10 frames per second. Let me throw it back to you guys. Am I missing something? Is there a reason here to buy the SL2 over the M50 that I'm missing? Is there a reason here to buy the M50 over the SL2 that I'm missing besides the 4K, the looks, and the 10 frames per second? Let me know in the comments below. What, which way would you guys go and why? Let's help out Avinash. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. Thanks for your question and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.